Good Tuesday morning to you. As we think about our week, as we're going about our business and working and all the things that fill our time, I want to focus on a text that actually is um, part of it was read on Sunday last week and the rest of it will be read Sunday this week. And I think it lays the foundation um, between last Sunday and getting ready for this Sunday. It lays the foundation of what we're going to be talking about in worship on Sunday. And so I want you to focus uh, on Hebrews 11. Um, now, of course, this begins with that passage we absolutely love. Hebrews 11 is now the faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. Indeed, by faith, our ancestors received approval. By faith, we understood that the worlds, excuse me, were prepared by the word of God so that what is seen was made from things that are not visible. What happens in Hebrews 11 from verse 4 all the way through the rest of the chapter is these examples of faith. And what you'll read is, by faith, by faith, Abel, by faith, Enoch, by faith, Noah. And, and I, I want you to sit with this today. If you know the verse, if you know the passage in Hebrews, uh, that's awesome. If you aren't familiar with it or you haven't looked at it, take out your Bible or pull out your phone or Google uh, Hebrews 11 when, you know, your boss isn't looking, I don't know, whatever you do at work and, um, and check this out because it's a great example of something that we often take for granted. Uh, all of these people and, and note the different kinds of people, uh, know who the people were, um, you know, we know the story of Cain and Abel, right? Abel gets kind of the, the, the short end of that story, having been murdered by his brother. Uh, do you remember Enoch as well? How, how about Noah? Of course, you probably remember Noah, right? Abraham. Read through this a little bit. And I want you to think about, on this Tuesday, I want you to think about how would you add your story to these? Because see, the, the opening of Hebrews 11 reminds us that it's not just these people. It's not just the people that we read in the scriptures that have a story of faith. It's verse 3, right? By faith we understand that the worlds were prepared by the word of God. The worlds were prepared by the word of God. So that what is seen is, was made from things that are not visible. That includes you and me. That includes the world in which we live in today. The worlds were prepared by the word of God. So how are you seeing the word of God come to life in your life? What would your by faith dot, 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 what would that end in your life? Would it be by faith, you know, we, we, had, we were certain that everything was going to work out in a diagnosis. By faith, we went into surgery knowing that the right outcome would happen. By faith, we, we sold our house and we moved here. By faith, we, we took a new job in a new place. By faith, we started a relationship knowing that or trusting that God would be at work in it. By faith, what comes after that for you? If you read the stories, what's fascinating how the writer of Hebrews chronicles these people is, is he the writer will equally put the negative things, like the things we probably don't want to remember, as much as the things that are important to remember. You know, in verse 13 of Hebrews 11, all of these died in faith without having received the promises, but from a distance they saw and greeted them. See, God's always at work, even, even in the things that we wish didn't happen, even in the things that uh, we lament are not part of God's plan, God is always at work. And, and nothing is ever wasted in God's creation. The writer of Hebrews reminds us that in, in different ways, that you know all things have purpose according to God's plan and, and reality. And so as you think about your life this day, as you think about this text from Hebrews, the question I want you to ask yourself is what is your by faith? Now, I want you to think about it. I want you to maybe even jot it down because tomorrow I'm going to ask a follow-up question. So it might be important that you do this or you think about it at least for a couple minutes today. But, but tomorrow I want to ask a follow-up question to what does that story look like? 
But for now, just just think about the stories of faith. How do you how do you name God at work in your life? How do you how do you identify it? Don't overthink it uh, in the naming of it. Just how would you how would you describe what God is doing in your life through your life? There's a, there's a couple things that we do that we don't even realize, right? Often we assess the good things as God is at work and the bad things as Satan's at work. That may not necessarily be true, right? Because God has a way of working through the challenges that we face. And so sometimes how we articulate our by faith story often says a lot about how we understand God. And I'm convinced the way we read scripture is indicative of our relationship that we have with the Almighty. If we read scripture only from the lens of God is vengeful and, and unrelenting and will punish us for our sins, and, and we hold on to that, that, that wrath that exists in the scripture, but we hold on to it as the fundamental core of the Almighty, that's how we're reading scripture, but that's also probably how we see God. And do you come to that God when life is hard? Do you come to that God when you are feeling broken and on your knees? Do you see the love in that God? If you read scripture and you see the fullness of God's love and mercy and grace, despite uh, the, the reactions, the, um, the pushing away of God's people, if you read that, then you probably have some kind of loving relationship with God. And you most likely can come to that God, come to God who loves you and knowing that love will sustain. Read through Hebrews 11. Think about your by faith story. Think about how God is at work in your life, how you would name God at work. And tomorrow we're going to follow up with the next step. Hope you're having a great Tuesday. It's going to be a little cooler of a start today, which is kind of nice, um, but hopefully, uh, oh, and maybe some rain tonight. How crazy is that? Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow.